anyone ever sat down with you and interviewed you? <laughs> um, no, not really. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, the, I'm, no, I'm normally the one pointing the microphone. <laughs> I think you need to turn around because that would help you in your experience of being on the other end. Yeah. So you need a chance to tell your story. Well, partly uh, up until now, I haven't been ready. It's because my mind went into a kind of, it kind of froze. Uh, and that was partly the, if you like, the infection. The 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 thing that RSE does to one's head is uh, it it disables the ability to think clearly uh, when you approach this subject. It's almost on a you know a self-destruct mode. Um, so I'm 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 emotional. yeah emotional particularly, yeah. and I'm right. I'm getting very clear on that. I re I'm recognizing that for what it is. And if you can name it, if you can recognize it then you have a chance of dealing with it. Well, I was having this... Uh, so, so your relationship, um, your kids and your f former wife is really fractured? No, no, it's good. Yep. Um, her name is Margaret, by the way. Perhaps it's a bit confusing, but... Uh, we, we, yeah, that it would be. Yeah. Uh, I didn't even know. I, be, I was thinking that your wife came over, and that's who we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, it kind of can be like that, eh? No, uh, she's, uh, we have a good relationship, my wife, in uh, New Zealand, but it's got better. I mean, she was so bewildered uh, by the t in the time I was here. She was hanging on that I was going to come back, because I keep saying, look, I'm going to come back, I'm going to work it out, and I'm not planning to be here forever. And um, so she kept waiting and waiting for me, and children grew up. And we we very rarely had a heavy conflict between each other, um, and I try to keep the communication open. Uh, so no, we we have a good relationship. Uh, she recently got married, um, so no, that's fine. Except what about your kids? Yeah, they're doing great. They're doing very well. And they're very very happy to hear we're trying to get back to New Zealand. But they've got a lot of heartache, you know. They didn't have their dad. Their dad left them. And um, yeah. I've, I've got some time to spend with them and trying to heal as much as, that, as I can without turning into the tar baby from the past, you know. I don't know how that's going to work out, but I think to be a dad, to be a granddad to their kids and create a strong family, that's my dream in New Zealand. Right. Well... You know, it's hard to say very well when you, you know, do reconnect with them that it would have been wonderful what happened because now in the reconnecting, it's um, you weren't around to destroy the, the relationship and now you're picking up at maybe the time that is you're most needed. Yeah, I, I, the way I see it, Steve, is I just don't know. I cannot go to this place myself and say, well, that because of this, this is happening. I've just come to accept that. I just know when something bad has happened in the past, um, it's not good. And when something wonderful has happened in the past, that's great. And if something bad in the past is continuing to happen and others are suffering from that, that is not good. And I'd like to be a part of ha helping to stop that or of directly stopping it. So it's um, it's interesting dynamics, and try not to let my involvement in trying to stop the bad things happening in the world uh, actually drown me, because that's a possibility too. That can easily take over. Uh, it's true that it, it, you know I, I was beginning to feel that you you feel very deeply guilty, um, and. Uh, about what happened, and that may be ex accentuating your anger with, you know, or, or trying or assigning more blame or cause to Jay Z and Ramtha than. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Perhaps you can read me better than I can read myself. But most people that don't know me, when they get to know me, say, "Oh, I just I thought you were such an angry person." And they're quite surprised that I'm not, without exception. 
because from what I'm doing and what I'm doing here, they think you have to be angry, uh, really angry, to do what I'm doing here. But you don't. That's the that's the uh, interesting dynamics of of what I think. If I was angry, it would kill me. It would do. I couldn't do this. Well, that's why I mentioned what I did to start out with. By the way, I really, really am angry, but yeah. I, I, I intellectualize it, but also it's at a stage, too, where, you know, I, I passed that, I realized it isn't good, you know, it's not yeah. you know, constructive, you know, but I also am aware. Perhaps, Steve, there, there's, uh, perhaps there's levels of anger where a certain amount of anger that's in us as a reactionary uh, part of us is very healthy to be mentally very stable and healthy. We need perhaps right. to have a reserve of anger. Uh, Violation. You're, you're yeah, you got it. Uh, I Perhaps if, uh, if I was to be psychoanalyzed, maybe I'm a ticking time bomb. I, I, how do we really know who we are until we're in these situations that really test us? No, you're, you're, I don't feel that. But I do feel, because you, you did... You mentioned some, some things that you you, you you mentioned that it'll you know the damage will never be it's a, this will always be with you and and it was just something it was just kind of like being profoundly guilty about that yeah you know? I perhaps perhaps I am I I feel um. And, and you know, I feel why say that that's not warranted. Yeah, I I don't feel that if we've been hurt and betrayed in our life that we have to put roses around it. I think things are nasty and the, and they are what they are without trying to say, oh, well, we got some greater good out of that. I, I don't agree with that kind of attitude. I think that the the nastiness of what's happened, if it's if it's in a healthy place, is in perspective to the whole of our lives and to a changes in the effects that we can make now. And I'm very positive about the future. I'm actually very positive about the end of my life. It's weird. I'm just, um, I'm just feeling in a in a space of, of. Yeah, um, it's mature. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's all it is. Everybody gets it, but you're, you're, you know, like the, the, my first reaction and the thing that crippled me somewhat after JC. Why would she do that? I mean, it's so outrageous and so. I couldn't believe it. Um, that made it hard. Is like, how can I go after her for the terrible things she did to me when my mother has done worse? Well, there's a subject. But I don't think your mother did worse. This is a thing. I, I've, I have so much compassion now for my mother and my dad. I think the, the one of the reasons what brought me in... By the way, I dearly love my mother, and I have great, great compassion. I mean, she's certainly terribly, but, I mean, she hasn't done this. She's just being her. Yeah, you yeah. Know, I, I'm disappointed, but I think I, the point I want to... that we're trying to make is um, the, the experience with, with RSE is really a a blatant experience of something that has constantly been part of your life and everyone else's life. Uh, you know, yeah, of, yeah. You know I, I call it the crowning glory of what is the cause of, of all these problems. You know, it, it's, it's, it's kind of revealed to me the epiphany of the disease, of, of what Jay-Z is inflicted with. And... And I'm starting to, perhaps that's what I wanted to know when I came here. What did our schools do? And what does our society do? And, I mean, it's, it's religions. It's, they're all doing the same thing. Well, if, if you, um, if you look at... Leading the truth and misleading and, and relationships do it and people, girlfriends do it and friends do it. And, you know, they hide, they, uh, you know, they play with truth to get people to do what they want and... You know, not everyone, but very few people are are so honorable, and you know. And the other thing that I I look at is this: is is to life takes courage. It just takes a certain amount of courage to live honestly. Yep. And I, and that's that's kind of what I'm seeing. There's a part of us that we have to 
let go of, that wants to control everything so that we're safe and we're secure. Because the fear tends to corrupt me so easily, it corrupts my mind, and then before long I'm afraid of shadows. And these shadows are starting to tell me what to do. And this is what I see Jay-Z as, as a, as a, as a shadow. But if I don't know that, it, it destroys me. In a sense, that's why I see, I see what RSC is about in my life as, as very, as huge. As, as like, the, like I say, it represents the opposite of what I thought it was about. I've been pondering your, your questions since we last spoke. And I wanted to say that what attracted me here what was the big attraction was this num this magic word healing and not only my healing but my immediate family and the whole world and in that healing it came from my heart so in a sense I gave my heart over to Jay-Z Knight I gave her it to do with what she will more than you ever had before given yeah but my life but believing that it was in in gentle, wise hands, and not knowing, but over degrees, without my even really noticing, my heart was getting taken, chunk by chunk by chunk, and I was being frozen, if you like. My 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 heart was being destroyed or taken from me. I was becoming inhuman. <laughs> Was it gradual? Yeah, it was slow. It was a slow death. And so the recovery really is about recovering, and I just don't like to go on new agey or spiritual, but it's really recovering my heart and my soul. It does seem to ride in my chest area. Can you talk more about this, what you're saying? You know, what do you mean? Well, the, the, what, what, do you, what do you, what words? Are you using heart to represent? Uh, my heart is, is where I feel, and in a way, this it, it can't always. Joe often points out, I go flowery with him, and he says, "Well, can you trust that?" And I'm talking about my intuition, uh, perhaps, and he would even question that because of his experience. But I, I think my conscience and my intuition and my my uh, my great love. My great love in life is community. Uh, I've been involved a little bit with other musicians and stage productions and that, and being in that creative flow of other human beings. And just uh, the joy of creating with others and that, that energy of co-creation. And when, that's, when you feel of that brotherhood or you, humanhood, it's a, it's it's a, it feeds, it's, a, it's like a nuclear energy. It feeds itself, and I think that's life. Saying it to people that in the South they have an expression, "Well, shut my mouth," <laughs> um, something like that, and and that means that the thing that they heard is so shocking or so disturbing that they can't say anything. Yes, yes. I'm dumbfounded, and I find you know my mother has never been able to speak or to talk, and and then as I saw myself get into this horrible, horrendous situation uh, of, of being abused constantly by the medical profession that I had to go to, I, I couldn't, I could no longer talk. I, I never dare enter face-to-face -face with a doctor um, without writing down everything I wanted to say on paper, because once I got in there, I, I just couldn't speak. Yeah, yeah. Well, the good news is I'm, I'm ready to... To, I can speak my mind and my heart uh, without getting confused now. I'm very clear. And I stood my ground in what I really, who I am in that, and that helps me a lot to understand my position. Um, so, yeah. So what, what would you like to do this evening while we have this time on the phone? You know, I, it's a difficult thing, but Ramtha in the very beginning, said, we said these things, and, or Jay-Z, she said, I will manifest to you all of your fears and your judgments. Okay? Mm -hmm. And said, I will say whatever it takes to get you to learn. 
Those are, those are two really important things. Mm-hmm. Because all of that stupid teachings about um, lizards and, and underground shelters, worlds in the collapse and gold and all that, could have been nothing other than manifesting your fears. Yeah, well... You got to the point to say, look, this is not worth it. Yeah, I, I personally, if there is such a thing as a spiritual path or a spiritual guidance... I do not believe we need to suffer to gain that. I don't believe, I don't, truly in my heart, I feel life itself presents challenges and suffering on its journey, but to to actually seek that out as some kind of uh, lessons needed to be learned to, to have the pain and have the gain, I believe is a delusion. Uh, and it's easily used by people like sociopaths, religious sociopaths, to on their prey uh, for us to be brought up in that anyway so that's briefly that's where I'm at on that understanding if I'm answering some kind of question of that sort well yeah 